I finally get to go Boston. I don't get to do it with him next to me, but I know he's going to be with me every step of the way. After years of training, a Cincinnati woman is ready to run the Boston Marathon. And as Nine on Your Side's Kristen Swilly shows us in a story you'll see only on Nine, it has been a very long road. Well, tonight was the big Cincinnati send-off for local runners taking on the Boston Marathon. They've been training for months, but for Carolyn Keating, it's a decade-long journey that has a lot to do with her dad. We often hear that life is a marathon, not a sprint. Carolyn Keating knows all about that. Boston will be marathon number 14 for her, and it's been 10 years since her very first 26.2 mile race. But this story is as much about Carolyn as the Keating who couldn't be here. And I remember training with him, like riding my bike along his long runs with my siblings. And so he kind of put this goal in my head to run Boston with him one day. Bill Keating Jr. was a champion of women's sports, notably at his alma mater, UC. He led the effort to retroactively award female athletes the varsity letters they earned before Title IX. He always made sure that my sister and I had equal opportunities growing up. He ran the Boston Marathon in 1995. Ten years ago, he challenged Carolyn to do the same. This time, they'd run it together. But as she was training, he was diagnosed with brain cancer. She ran the flying pig and finally qualified for Boston, but her dad was gone. And I actually have a finisher's picture of me finishing and stopping my watch, and it's the same picture of him finishing when he qualified. Now she's running in a charity spot for an organization that, like her dad, supports women in sports. I finally get to go Boston. I don't get to do it with him next to me, but I know he's going to be with me every step of the way. Well, Keating's raised more than $9,000 for that organization. She'd love to hit 10,000 by Monday. If you're interested in helping her out, you can head to crowdwise.com and search 261 Fearless. I've also posted that link to my Facebook page, Kristen Swilly News. Reporting in Columbia, Tuscaloosa, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.